Yes. As we discussed briefly in the previous question, this situation is serious indeed. A combined report from experts at the United Nations, Care International, and the U.S.-based Earth Institute forecast that more than 14 million farmers would lose their rice fields if sea levels rise by two meters. Already, the growers are seeing salt water contamination in some crops along with the excessive flooding that ruins harvest. Scientists say that the floods are due to upstream melting glaciers, which cause the rice to be inundated at time when it needs to be dry. Moreover, as the glaciers continue to melt, the great Mekong River will begin to dry because there's no more support of flowing water. Meaning further hardship for farmers as water becomes more scarce as uh, it currently supports 18 hydropower stations as well. The drying of the Mekong River would also have adverse effects on power supplies and the drought combined with sea level rise would cause further salt water contamination. The government has institute programs to relocate people whose homes and growing areas are most vulnerable to these effects. But this does not really address their livelihoods or how to save the crops. Research indicates that uh, a one meter sea level rise could result in up to two million hectares of land in the Mekong Delta being submerged. Depending on how quickly global warming accelerates, this could happen in a matter of years. As for how to best help the farmers in the Delta region to cope with this urgent problem, I also wonder myself. It concerns me deeply to see the effects of global warming on this region. Dr. Carl mentioned scientists developing a salt-bearing plant. Perhaps we can. Perhaps not. Even if we can, imagine. You see, some researchers have suggested building additional levees to hold back the floodwaters. Both of these ideas could probably work over the short term and would help for a little while, but not for long term. We have to ask ourselves for how long and at what price this will work. What kind of world will we have left if these uh, global warming changes continue? What kind of drinking water, what kind of air we will have, even if the rice plants can grow in salt water? This is a complex ecosystem with a long, long history of supporting human life. So, there is no easy answer. But the most effective one I know, which is so simple, easy, and also scientifically proven, is to adopt a meat-free, animal-free lifestyle. If everyone stops the killing and consumption of meat, these destructive changes will also stop. Just be veg and do good. That's all there is. This is really the way to go. It is the best thing to help us, to help the farmers and the entire country of Vietnam.